How cool no, is it no, to no. have each other here being drafted together in, in this class as first rounders? It's very cool. You know, me and Nolan had a great connection at Georgia, and I plan on bringing that to the Philadelphia Eagles and having a great connection out here and balling out. Um, I'd say it was amazing for me just because not only one of my favorite, not only most athletic teammates here, man, we got a lot of boys, a lot of Georgia Philly dogs, and uh, it's going to be great. We talked about the, the off the field, uh, knowing each other, but on the field, how much of a benefit is you guys being together, Jordan, the Kobe, and you all know each other and your tendencies and how you play? Um, I would say 100%. Um, JC, no, I use them. Most of the time when I looked to my left and shook my head, he knew what I was talking about. And that's just that on the field connection for playing with him for two two years. And um, it's only going to be more and more, and the connection is only going to get better and better the more that we play with each other. What about um, being on a team with veterans like Fletcher Cox and, and Brandon Graham? How much do you think that will help both of you guys? You can both answer. Thanks. Yeah, just like uh, at George, you know, I looked up to the veterans. Uh, just like, no, he's a veteran to me. Uh, Jordan Davis, uh, Trayvon Walker, all them guys. You know, I looked up to them guys and followed behind them. And they brought, uh, taught me every step of the way and got me where I'm at now. Jalen, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, Nick Sirianni was talking last night about playing horse on this, on this basket and your windmill dunk mm -hmm. on the first one. Uh, I guess what's the story behind that game? And is that your, your go-to for AQ, Jordan? <laughs> Yeah, you know, uh, I windmill when I was in, like, uh, high school, and uh, a lot of people still think I can't windmill, so, you know, I just had to prove them a little. I missed the dunk, but, you know, I still got up there. <laughs> Jalen, I understand you played uh... – uh, Yes, sir, I did beat him, and uh, it was fun. So, I beat him, and we was asking questions the whole time, so it was a fun activity. What was the, what was the winning shot? Oh, I probably did a, um, a three-pointer from right there where that lady with the pink sitting and walked down on the <laughs> Jalen, I understand you played offense your first three years at, at high school. Yes, um, what were you like as an offensive player, and uh, what was it like when you did switch to defense? Scary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I was on defense, it was, it was scary. But when I played offense, it was just like – it was more like fun. You know, running, pulling, going to the little small DBs, just pushing them out the way, open the lane for the running backs. It was, it was a fun time. Did you think that you would have had a future on the offensive side of the ball if you didn't move? At like O line? I don't know. Oh nah, you know, I don't want to play O line. I'm a D lineman. <laughs> but uh no. Yeah, I'm a D lineman. That's it. Jordan there was a Jordan and the Kobe last year and you two this year. What was it about the Georgia program do you think has the Eagles looking to pick the guys from school? Um I'll say one thing that we show at Georgia is we have a culture program. So we believe in a culture, and they believe in a culture here in the Eagles. And you felt that walking in the building. And um, this was one of my favorite top 30 visits, just when I walked in the building, the culture, the people around here, they greet you with a smile, they say hello, and really just the whole city. So it was really fun just, you know, going from a good culture to an even better culture. Hey, you know, it's our first time speaking. What was your experience like last night? And I guess going into the night, did you think the Eagles would be a possibility for your tent? Um, yeah, I did. But, you know, I'm blessed just to be here. I'm blessed to be here at any point to have this opportunity. And I would say I got the best opportunity of all. I'm playing with three of my teammates. And I just won two back-to-back -back national championships with this one. So, it's, yeah, so I'm, not, I'm not worried about no number. I'm just happy that I'm here with my dogs. Hey, Nolan, uh, having played with Jalen, um, what was your sort of perspective on, on his pre-draft process and all the talk that was around him? Um, I just I always stood up for him just because it's, it's not him. I know Jalen. I know JC. I call him JC. I don't even call him Jalen. I call him JC88. And um, JC just one of those guys that you could really count on. And to not only do his job, but he's going to do his job plus more and then come daff you up and get everybody hyped up. And um, that's just the type of player he is. And he's one of the best guys to hang around, to be around. And I think, you know, I can't wait for him to take me to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Jalen, what does that mean to you to have his support during that time? It mean a lot, you know. Like I said, when I first came to Georgia, I looked up to him. Even even before I came to Georgia, I seen a couple of highlights of practice where he, you know, doing one on ones. He's killing them guys out there, and you know, I just always been looking up to him. And just being able to play with him right now in the league, it's a dream come true. Nolan, when you uh, declared Kirby Smart, uh, had a lot of positive things uh, to say, uh, specifically about your intangibles. I guess uh, growing up and uh, throughout your career, uh, who do you believe 
you consider uh, your role models or, or where did you kind of get your leadership style from? Um, well, I just watched Ray Lewis, and Ray Lewis always just made people around him better, and he's just been one of those players that just fired you up from watching his film. Like, you go turn on Ray Lewis' motivational speeches before the game, and that'll get you up to do your work. So um, that's one of the guys that I watched, and I say Von Miller is who I modern my game out there. You know, when I, I saw that you keep something in your locker as a reminder of how you grew up in, in Savannah. Um, what was your perspective last night when you finally got drafted and, you know, this, this moment came to fruition, given what you've gone through to get there? Thank God. That's, that's the only thing that I thought in my mind is thank God for this opportunity and um, thank God for putting me here. And, you know, I say God works in mysterious ways and I'm here with three of my best friends. So. You know, when a lot of, a lot of people have comped you to, like, Hassan Reddick, who obviously plays here, how familiar you are you with his game and, and what he does at a similar size as you? Um, I'm very similar. I'm very familiar to his game just because he's one of those guys that I turn on my tape because he's my body type. Um, I watch guys like my body type, like Von Miller and Hashawn Reddick and the moves that they use and just the different things that they do, not only with their hands, but how they bend the edge and how they use speed to power and how they set up their moves and play a game within the game. Uh, you mentioned Von. Um, with that bend, uh, he's kind of known for that, and, and people say you do that really well. Is that what you focused on? Um, yes, sir. So I, I focus on the bending at the top of the rush in my game just because, you know, I think it helped me get to the quarterback quicker, and also, you know, big guys don't want to get down there and touch you. Yeah, I what? know you, man. You uh, look up to uh, when it comes to uh, play style and role models for me. Yeah, I, I look at Aaron Donald. You know, I've been watching his film a lot. You know, you know, I try to add some of his moves to my toolbox. You know, he's mainly the most guy I watched. Either one of you, when you look at the talent on the D line that they have here already assembled, um, you know, with with Jordan, with Fletcher Cox, Milton Williams, the edge rushers, BG, Josh Sweat, all these guys, Reddick. You guys are so deep. What's the, I guess, the the capability of this defensive front when all you guys get settled in? I mean, you know, the sky's the limit always. And um, I don't want to set any goals or set anything, but, you know, just to be a group that work together and rush as one unit. And I am, I'm never talked to the D-line coach ever, but I know that's the D-line word amongst everyone. So rushing as one unit. And really, I love to learn from Hoshan Reddick and all the old guys. Um, I just can't wait to follow and just, you know, learn, learn the different things that they do here at Philly. Jalen, uh, Jason Kelsey said he got to spend some time with you during free draft visit. What do you remember about that? And were there other guys too that you got to got to hang out with? Uh, no, I was pretty much hanging with uh, Kelsey. And, um, it was just cool, and cool vibes. He was a cool guy to be around. Uh, he made it uh, fun for me just to, uh, explaining what Philly's about. You know, that is it's a family out here. You know, everybody's gonna take care of you, and you're gonna have some fun while uh, being on a business trip playing football. How long did you get to spend with him? Uh, it wasn't that long, you know. There's a lot going on, so it wasn't that long. For both of you, uh, in the Georgia <coughs> program, it's, it's, it's like the stats don't jump off the page. You guys obviously win a lot. You're both first round picks. What goes into that to, to, to have the production, but but it might not be shown on stat sheet? What's that? Um, I would say. 100% just the work and preparation and being selfless. That's one thing that we learned at Georgia is that we selfless and everybody on the same page. And um, I feel like if we take that and bring that here to this type of culture, and from what I hear from the Kobe and JD is that that's what we're going to do here. So I can't just wait. I'm excited. What Georgia player are the Eagles most likely to draft next year? <laughs> <laughs> that's the real question. I don't know, man. It was, it's going to be somebody from Georgia, hopefully. No, what went into having Nick Nicole with you last night? Um, nothing went into it. That's my that's my best friend. Not only we, he's my roommate, and um, that connection piece at Georgia is real. We just know it's not a lip service for us. Like this, really, my brother next to me, and I mean that when I say that. And um, when he was there, it just you know, made me get me, get me a little excited. Him and Trayvon, they were both there, and you know, Trayvon plays for the Jags. What made you leave Savannah, Brian? Um, the real reason is just to better myself and to better myself. You know, we I don't have we have big A A schools in Savannah, but they don't really take football as serious as I wanted to. So I just wanted to better myself and go better myself. Just like two more. Uh, Jalen, uh, you and JD kind of 
kind of similar uh, situations in regard to the team uh, trade up to, to get you. I guess uh, two part question: How does that uh, kind of make you feel as you arrive here? And also, uh, you mentioned last night that JD was uh, kind of talking to you a couple of days before, the day before. Just what kind of a piece of advice that he gives you leading up to, to last night? Yeah, it just it feel good, you know, all that Philly, you know, give uh, putting their trust in me and to come here and put in hard work and uh, do what I can do to help the team and. Uh, just talking to JD, man. He's just a, guy, a good guy to talk to. I could talk to him any any time. Call him any time of the day, any time of the night. You know, he's just my guy, and I love that man. Jalen, you went to a, you and Morrison both went to a poker. What is it about that area Poc- where you guys? Had, <laughs> uh, Poc- sorry, yeah. uh, what is it about you guys from that area where you guys have had that success? And also, have you talked to Warren at all? Or? Uh, no, I haven't talked to Warren. You know, we got to set that up. He uh, he wants to talk to me. I want to talk to him too. And. Um, you know, Apaka got a, a, a tradition. You know, it's just hard work over there. And, you know, and everybody want to be the best. You know, they had a couple of state state rings and stuff. You know, they plan on getting more.